provides us opportunities to make learning more fun and engaging. Hence, keep tuning in to SDO Isabella's Radio Espella. Oh, yeah! Are you excited for today's lesson? Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma wow! You are full of energy as always. And I love that. That's the spirit. I am your radio teacher for today, and you can call me Teacher Liza, and I'm as excited as you are. Please prepare your paper and pencil. You can call your parents as well or your guardian to assist you in our discussion. Are you now ready? That's great! Before we go on with our new lesson, let us check if you can still recall yesterday's lesson. Alright! What was our previous lesson? Correct! It is about using be verbs correctly in a sentence. What are the be verbs? Brilliant! They are M, is, are, was, and where. Great job, kids! Yay! You really paid attention to our interaction last time. Now, children, time to lend your ears. Let me ask you some questions. Is that all right? Yes, ma'am. That's good to hear. So, what did you do yesterday before our class started? Wow! You cleaned your room? Aha! You helped your mother cook breakfast? That is nice! How about today? What are you doing right now? Very good! You are listening to SDO Isabella's Radio Escuela. What will you do tomorrow? Aha! You will play with your friends. That is good to hear. Why do you think I asked you about what did you do yesterday? What are you doing now? And what you will do tomorrow? Absolutely! It is because it has a connection to our lesson today. Alright! Any idea about our lesson? Very good! Today, we will be discussing about simple verbs. So, at the end of the discussion, you are expected to use simple verbs in a sentence. Wow! That's the spirit! Now, please get your paper and pencil. Write on your paper the letter A. Beside letter A, write these words. The dog barked at my visitors. The dog barked at my visitors. Are you done writing? Oh, yeah! Very good! Now, write letter B. 
beside letter B? Write these words. The dog barks at my visitors. The dog barks at my visitors. Are you done? Oh, yeah! Great! Now, write letter C. Beside letter C, write again these words. The dog will bark at my visitors. The dog will bark at my visitors. Are you done? Oh, yeah! Good job! Now, let us read what you wrote. Read with me. So, let's start. Letter A. The dog barked at my visitors. Letter B. The dog barks at my visitors. And letter C. The dog will bark at my visitors. Good job, kids! Oh, yeah. Now, can you tell me which letter has the sentence illustrating what happened already? Correct! It is letter A. The dog barked at my visitors. The word barked is the clue that the action already happened because it is in the past tense. It is easy to know if the sentence is in the past tense. Just add B or ED to the verb. The word bark is the verb and then we add ED for it to be in the past tense. But we cannot apply the said changes on all verbs such as the verb sleep. Its past tense is slept, not slipped. Do you understand? Yay! Very good. Now, Tell me which sentence tells what is happening right now. Any guess? Amazing! It is letter B. The dog barks at my visitor. The word barks tells us that the action is happening right now because it is in the present tense. You just add S or ES to the verb for it to be in the present tense. Can you follow? Yes, ma'am! Great! Now, which sentence talks about what will happen or something that has not happened yet? Correct! It is letter C. The dog will bark at my visitors. The word will is the clue that the action will happen sooner or later. And it is in the future tense. Just add will before the base form of the verb for it to be in the future tense. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am! Very good! The sentences we discussed are examples of using the three tenses of verbs. So what are they? Brilliant! They are the past tense, present tense, and future tense. Very good, kids! <laughs> tenses of verbs tells us how an action relates to the flow of time. Tense shows whether it existed in the past, exists in the present, or will exist in the future. Now, I want you to get your paper and pencil again. Then, on your paper, write the numbers 1 to 5. 
I will read to you some sentences. Your task is to draw a heart shape if the sentence that I will read is in the past tense. Draw a star shape if the sentence is in the present tense. And draw a triangle shape if the sentence is in the future tense. I repeat, draw a heart shape if the sentence that I will read is in the past tense. Then draw a star shape if the sentence is in the present tense. And last, draw a triangle shape if the sentence is in the future tense. Are you ready? Yay! Wow! What an energy you have! So let us start. Number one. My family will go to church on Sunday. I repeat, my family will go to church on Sunday. Number two, the teacher talks well in her discussion. Again, the teacher talks well in her discussion. Number three, mother cooked my favorite snack. I repeat, Mother cooked my favorite snack. Now we go to number four. The group danced gracefully in their performance. Again, the group danced gracefully in their performance. And for number five, Kevin will drive the bike. I repeat, Kevin will drive the bike. Are you done answering? Let's check whether you have drawn the correct shapes. Number one, my family will go to church on Sunday. What did you draw? Very good! It's a triangle shape, which means it is in the future tense. Number two, the teacher talks well in her discussion. What is your answer? Wow! A star shape! It means it is in the present tense. Now we go for number three. Mother cooked my favorite snack. The answer is a heart shape because the verb is in the past tense. Number four. The group danced gracefully in their performance. What is the answer? Amazing! You drew a heart shape again, which means it is in the past tense. And last, number five, Kevin will drive the bike. What is your answer? Absolutely! The answer is a triangle shape, which means it is in the future tense. You did a great job, Active Grade 3 pupils! Let us now try to write the three tenses of verb. Make three columns on your paper and then on each column, write past tense, present tense, and future tense. Again, on the three columns, write past tense, present tense, and future tense. Now, are you done? Okay, let us use the verb collect for number one. I will give you one minute to write a sentence in the past, present, and future tense. Remember, use the verb collect. Timer starts now.
Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. For number two, let us use the verb deliver. I will also give you one minute to write a sentence in past, present, and future tense. Remember, you are using the verb deliver. Timer starts now. So, are you done? Yes, ma'am! Great! For the last number, let us use the verb walk. You have one minute to write a sentence in past, present, and future tense. Use the verb walk. Timer starts now. Time is up! Great job, kids! Yay! Dear parents or guardians, kindly check the output of your children. Here are some possible answers for your guidance. Number one, for the past tense, Jasper collected the answer sheets. For the present tense, Jasper collects the answer sheets. For the future tense, Jasper will collect the answer sheets. I repeat, these are just some of the possible answers. Then number two, possible answer for the past tense, the man delivered the package to our house. For present tense, the man delivers the package to our house. And for the future tense, the man will deliver the package to our house. Then, for number three, possible answer. For past tense, the lady walked elegantly. For present tense, the lady walks elegantly. And for future tense, the lady will walk elegantly. Dear parents or guardians, I hope you have already checked your children's output. You did so well today! That's it for today's discussion. Did you enjoy our lesson? Yay! That's good to hear. Again, what are the three tenses of verbs? Absolutely! We have the past tense, present tense, and future tense. What are we going to add to the verb to make it past tense? Correct! We add D or ED. How about the present tense? 
Very good. We add S or ES. How about the future tense? Great! We add the word will before the verb. You really understood our lesson today. You all deserve a resounding applause. Now, to assess your understanding of our lesson, we will be having a short quiz. Your task is to identify the correct tense of verb that will complete each sentence. Bring out your paper and pencil and write the following on your paper. Listen carefully as I read to you each of the items. Number one, Kevin Blanc, the car for our trip next week. A. Prepared. B. Prepares. Or C. Will prepare. I repeat, Kevin Blanc, the car for our trip next week. A. Prepared. B. Prepares. Or C. Will prepare. Now we go for number two. The pupils blank to avoid junk foods after their seminar last week. A. Learn. B. Learns. Or C. Will learn. Again, the pupils blank to avoid junk foods after their seminar last week. A. Learn. B. Learns. Or C. Will learn. Now we go for number three. The postman blank the letters to us. A. Delivered. B. Delivers or C will deliver. Once again, the postman blank the letters to us. A delivered. B delivers or C will deliver. How about number four? And block the last chapter of the book tomorrow. A read, B reads, or C will read. I repeat. And blank the last chapter of the book tomorrow. A read. B reads. Or C will read. Last, number five. The old lady blank at her when she gave her a flower. A smiled. B smiles. Or C will smile. Again, the old lady blank at her when she gave her a flower. A smiled. B smiles. Or C will smile. Were you able to write all of the sentences and choices? Yay! Good! I will now give you one minute to answer the activity. So, timer starts now. Time is up! Let us now check your quiz. For number one, Kevin blanked the car for our trip next week. The choices are A. Prepared, B. Prepares, or C. Will prepare. What is the letter of the correct answer? Correct! It is letter C. Will prepare. And for number two, the pupils blank to avoid junk foods after their seminar last week. A. Learned. B. Learns. Or C. Will learn. What is the answer? Very good! It is 
Letter A. Learn. Now for number three. The postman blanked the letters to us. A. Delivered. B. Delivers. Or C. Will deliver. What is your answer? Amazing! The correct letter is B. Delivers. And now for number four. And blank the last chapter of the book tomorrow. A read, B reads, or C will read. What is the correct answer? Awesome! It is letter C, will read. Now lastly, for number five, the old lady blanked at her when she gave her a flower. Choices are A smiled, B smiles, or C will smile. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer, children? Absolutely! It is letter A. Smile! Very good, learners! Now, count your scores and tell me you got everything correctly. Brilliant! You really listened attentively today. With that, on behalf of the script writer of this episode, Miss Cyril Ann F. Banyaga, together with the whole SDO Isabella RBI production team, this is your radio teacher for today. I am Teacher Lisa, saying despite the pandemic, learning can still be fun through Radio Escuela. Have a nice day, everyone! Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa daan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo, Radyo, Radyo Eskwela. May bagong virus na kumakalat ngayon at na Bagong virus na kumakalat ngayon